Good morning. All right, we're going to paint this beautiful lighthouse. This is the Cape Cod Lighthouse down in Truro, also called Highland Light. Beautiful spot. Uh, uh, Edward Hopper lived near here and, and painted this quite often. All right, here we go. I'm going to do something that I don't usually do. I think uh, because of this beautiful color, you know, and it's so clean, what I'd like to do is keep it that way. So I think I'm going to start this painting upside down. <laughs> which should be fun. So we're going to turn it around. All right, I'll begin with a Aurelian yellow and just, just to establish our colors here. Okay, now we're going to get some rose and just drop it on top of that. Okay, I'm going to pick up some French Ultra here. All right, so in here we have a little Windsor blue, little cobalt blue, and a little blue teal. And that's going to go right in here. All right, I'm going to turn this back up. Let some of that stuff run together. All right, what I want to do here is pick out these clouds. We have these very beautiful clouds, cloud bank there. So I want to pick that up. So just take, your, take a towel and fold it lightly and shape, keep, pick out the shape lightly that you want. You know, don't, you don't have to press too hard at first. Just, just pick out your, what you, you know, that, the shape that you want for your clouds. Just pick that out. We have a nice, nice cloud behind the lighthouse. And then that kind of goes up. Okay, and we'll pick out a little bit on this side. All right, then what you want to do is take a towel and wrap it around your thumb. Okay, nice and nice and tight. Now you can press harder, and as you press harder, you'll get you'll get some nice white in there. What's nice about this is you get this you, you can hold on to the soft edges, which is beautiful. All right, while that's coming down, I'm going to paint the house. All right, what I'll do is pick up some of this warm. All right, I dried it off. What I'm going to do is I want to get this uh, darker cloud in here. So we'll put that in now while, while it's dry. That way it won't run and we can have some soft edges there. Put a little water up there. This is going to be uh, ultramarine. So we'll try a little rose. I'm going to put a little cobalt blue in there as well. All right, so we'll start it. And you can take some water, pretty much clean water, or just tiny. Uh, nice, very nice modulation in the clouds, you know. Just I right, let it dry, and then as it's drying, we'll we'll pick up some we'll pick up some shapes. Just a damp brush, and I'm picking up some color here and there, and just pulling it, you know, basically keeping that very soft edge. All right, I'll let that go for now. I'll just pick up the drips as they come down. All right, in the meantime, let's get this, we can get this whole uh, section painted here. This is basically, uh, th this is a, essentially all the blues, you know. I, I like to use, uh, this is uh, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue. All right, over here, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, the sky color in there, a little yellow and a little rose. All right, I, I want to finish off the house here. I missed that uh, section. Okay, so this is the, the snow on the roof here. Comes right into the... All right, I'll let that dry up. And let's get this lighthouse in. All right, so when you have a, an edge like that on the lighthouse, you know, you want that to be a nice clean edge and um, it runs over, you have a little overrun there. So just take a credit card, put that on the edge that you want, and then just go in there with a toothbrush. Always have a toothbrush with you. And clean that edge right up. 
Okay. Take care of that. All right, we got the very dark. What I do is I mix up, I mix up a black using the ultramarine and and Quinn Sienna. And then because it's up there, it's reflecting a lot of reflection from the sky. I take some cobalt blue and mix a batch of cobalt blue in there. All right, so we want. All right, so we'll get this. Get this dark going. A little bit of a cap up there. All right, then we have uh, underneath, I'm just going to take some raw sienna here. And this will be the. The underside of the oval. All right, so we can see through the glass there, get the shadow in here. All right, I'm going to start with a very light, very light raw sienna, and I'm to basically paint the shape that I want to hold on to here. Now uh, get some rose. Now we want some cobalt blue. Sorry, I should be doing the whole thing here. A little spray on that. But what we want to do is soften that edge, and we'll use a little bit of pink to do that. Just. some just clean water. All right, while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go in and ju just a little, little drop of rose while it's drying up here. All right, while we're waiting for that to come down, I'm going to get this um, grass in here. Ultra, I'm sorry, raw sienna and a little rose, a little blue. So we have this, this line against the house. So I'll put it in and then pull the grass up. Anyway, you can do as much as you want there. And then we have some on this side of the road. Uh, spot it. It's nice because it leads leads the viewer right into your painting. All right. Anyway, just keep going with that. Uh, we we need a nice piece of dark. Make it black and actually add. I would add a bunch of blue. See what that looks like. And I think I'll just charge it up with some rows on the top. Pick up some of that color. All right, so the rest is just details. I like to put these uh, windows in. So I'm just painting them with water. I'm gonna take a towel and just lift them out. And you can put a little, all right. Now up here on the, on the, um, on all that, the glass there, the rigging and all that stuff that you need to do. Uh, what I usually do on something like that, if, if I'm, you know, I, I do it with a brush, but what I'm telling you is if you, you know, you're worried about that, you know, you have all these panes of glass and all those railings and this and that. What I usually do is go in first with a pencil, you know, and draw, your, draw, draw them in, you know, draw in what you want. Go in with, with your brush and very carefully put them in. 
Okay, so that's it. All right. All right, I just want to bring this a little bit forward. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of violet in there, like so. Okay, I hope you like that, and I hope it's good for you, and I will see you again soon.